In this video, we'll create a web app Maven project. So here's the game plan. We'll create a web app Maven project with Eclipse. We'll explore the generated files and directories. And then we'll also add dependencies to our Palm file. And then finally, we'll run our web app on our server. So that's the game plan. All right, let's dive in. So in Eclipse, the one thing I want to do is move over to the Java EE perspective. So that's the little button up in the top right corner here. So just hover over that and click on that item, Java EE. That'll switch us over to the Java EE perspective. And now I'll go to my file menu and I'll select File, New, Maven Project. And we have the Maven Project listed here because we're in the Java EE perspective. And now they'll give us uh, this basic page here. We'll go ahead and keep the defaults and click next. Uh, now we'll have a list of archetypes and we'll filter on web apps. So remember archetype is basically like our starter project. So I'll choose the web app archetype and click next. And now I give my group ID. I keep it as com.love to code for the artifact ID. I'll call it my cool web app. And then for the version, I'll set it up to 1.0. And then I'll keep all the other defaults here on this screen. I'll click on finish and then I'll actually generate this uh, Maven web project for me. But I have a red X here. Hmm. Weird. Let me kind of drill down and see what's up with that index.jsp. I'll hover on this line and oh, the super class of Java X HTTP servlet not found on build path. Okay, cool. Well, since we're using Maven, that means that we have a dependency that's missing so we'll make our updates here in the palm.xml file because maven's handling all of our building and class path issues so in the palm.xml i'll click on that palm.xml tab just so i can see the raw xml here and these are the uh, the actual dependencies so note here in the dependency section they only have a reference to junit there's nothing here about java x.servlet okay cool so that means that we have a little bit of work to do so I'll write a quick comment here to myself and basically say that we need to add the servlet API dependency to this project. And the actual artifact ID that we need is the Java X dot servlet dash API. That's the artifact ID. Now what we can do is we can use the techniques that we've learned earlier or used earlier, and we can actually move over to the Maven central repository and search for this. So let me go ahead and open up a browser here. And I'll use my little link here for the Maven central repository. That's search.maven.org. And I'll search for Java X dot servlet dash API. And then I have some search results here on the screen. Um, I'll choose the second item here, a Java X dot servlet dash API. And the latest version is 4.0, but I'll go ahead and click on all. And they'll give me a lot of entries here. Um, what I'll do to keep things simple is that I'll actually use one of the previous versions. I'll use version 3.1.0 because not all servers are up to speed with the latest 4.0. So just to keep things simple, I'll choose the 3.1.0. And then over on the left hand side, they give us the project information. And then the most important piece of information is the actual dependency info. So we'll go ahead and select this information. And this is what we're going to copy, paste, and put into our palm.xml. So I simply copy that information. And then I simply swing back over to Eclipse. And then in my palm.xml, I'll go ahead and paste that information. And then I'm pretty anal here. I'm going to go ahead and format this text a bit just so it's all pretty. I like my code to be pretty. Clean it up. So there we go. So we have this new entry here for Java X dot servlet dash API. Alrighty, so once we save this file, then if we move back over to our index.jsp, then that error message is gone. So great. So we've resolved that. We have our dependency in place and we're good to go. Now I can actually go ahead and run this application. Actually, <laughs> before running, I'll give a little custom message here. So hello world, and I'll say hello world of Maven. And I'll save my JSP file here. And then I'll go ahead and run this JSP file. 
I just do a run as and run on server. It'll prompt me for which server I want to use. I'll choose it. And then I'll click the little checkbox there at the bottom left and then hit finish. And then everything works just like you normally would do with running JSPs, right? It's just, it'll start up and then we'll see other results here in the browser right inside of Eclipse. So that's cool. So the really cool thing about this, other than the very basic Hello World JSP is that we use that Maven archetype for web app. It created a basic web app for us. We went through, added some dependencies, and then we modified our JSP page and then ran it. And we're doing all this via Maven. So I'd like to say good job and congrats.